I'm back. Rodrance for Black and White Network. If you're new to the channel, make sure you hit subscribe. And as of course, as always, thank you for watching. Let's talk about renowned race baiter. Uh, basically, if you're white, Joy Reid is not a big fan. And uh, she loves to have all these ultra-liberal Marxist uh, professors on her show uh, co-signing her wild racist takes. Uh, that she has on a nearly nightly basis. Well, it seems that people don't love to consume that kind of shit, okay? They don't love to consume that kind of rhetoric in their news programming, it seems. Now, keep in mind, going into this, shows like Gutfield, all the way up to The Five, uh, Hannity, Tucker, those guys, Fox News runs about 1.8 million all the way to about 3.6, 3.7 million in viewers, okay? Um, so just some frame of reference as you go from MSNBC over to Fox News, right? And uh, it seems that Joy Reid has lost basically half of all her viewership since her show premiered. Now, it premiered in July 2020, of course, amidst all the... Uh, St. George Floyd fallout, right? The MSNBC thought they had themselves a winning program to go on TV and just say, I hate white people everywhere. Uh, except white people watch TV too, it seems, and they want to consume new shows too, it seems. Joy Reid's MSNBC show Gardner's worst ratings ever. Nearly half of the audience has fled since its premiere. Now, keep in mind, I just did a video on black and white sports about uh, Republican Jack Brewer. Um, Reed came out on her show the other day and said that uh, the the black young black boys that were on stage with Ron DeSantis, uh, them being on stage for the anti-woke signing of the bill by Ron DeSantis was tantamount to child abuse, okay? And she questioned whoever ran ran those boys out there. What she didn't realize was Jack Brewer, former NFL player, a black man, came out and said, uh, no, uh, they're part of my organization. They knew exactly what they were doing. And if you and MSNBC doesn't apologize, I'm going to hit your ass with a lawsuit. Uh, so that's been the kind of week that Joy Reid's had. But look, that's kind of standard operating bullshit take by Joy Reid, and that's exactly why her ratings are plummeting into the abyss now. The ratings are in. This is the blaze. And Joy Reid's MSNBC show is not exactly winning. The quote, read out, <laughs> tune out, garnered its smallest audience in April after nearly two years of existence, according to Fox News. Reid's show managed to only entertain 1.1 million viewers on average in April, a measure 31% lower than the same month last year. That figure is also 51% of the viewers the show garnered in its premiere month of July 2020, so it's lost over half of its viewership. The quote readout did poorly when it measured among demographic ages 25 to 54, where the show earned an average of only 124,000 viewers. Ouch. That figure represents the lowest for MSNBC in the coveted demographic during the weeknight 7 p.m. slot since July 2015. Wow. Reed has apparently and unsuccessfully tried to garner greater ratings with more and more outrageous statements calling various Republicans and others on the right racist, sexist, and other unsubstantiated accusations. In March, the MSNBC host said the world only cares about the invasion of the Ukraine by Russia because the country is white and Christian. Wow. I remember that. Okay, let's face it, the world is paying attention because this is happening in Europe, Reed said at the time. Quote, if this was happening anywhere else, would we see the same outpouring of support and compassion? Earlier in April, Reed said she was sick and tired of right-wing Christian nationalist abortion-obsessed trolls asking her to give a definition of the word woman 
after Supreme Court Justice Con- Conjay uh, Conjay Jackson Brown was unable to do so during her Senate hearings. Man, that was such a slammed up kind of easy question that they levied at uh, uh, Justice Brown. But uh, she flunked that question, actually. Later in April, she accused Republican Florida Governor Ron DeSantis of child abuse over black children holding political signs against CRT at the bill signing. In her most recent outburst, Reed threatened to Leave Twitter over the purchase of the company by billionaire tech Elon Musk. And, of course, like like I said, she come out and said that uh, she felt that Elon wanted to bring back apartheid. I mean, it's those kind of cutting-edge takes that causes your viewership to be cut in half. Okay? Yeah, that's that's sort of what happens. But it is one racist-ass rant after the other from Joy Reid. It's unbelievable. People don't love to hear that, so they just turn the bitch off. All right? Let's 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 just be real. She is a total clown. Okay? She goes straight to the, the most racist hot take she can find. If there's a white person involved, her eyes start glowing red. Okay? You want to talk about somebody that goes on TV, and they're always attacking Tucker or somebody like that? This B is a blatant racist. She may... She pulls no punches, and it seems that people, and, you know, me included, people that aren't racist don't, in fact, want to be called racist. We don't watch people like that. Click. Wasn't going to watch you anyway, Joy Reid. No fear there. Uh, Triggered. She would be, like, convulsing, uh, fall over, uh, shaking triggered by uh, the redneck from Texas talking about her right now. I wonder if I'm going to dress her up like a clown in in the thumbnail. Any bets on that? Tell me what you think, Black and White Network fans. Joy Reid plummeting into the abyss, exactly where she belongs. Peace, I'm out. Till next time. <laughs>